Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, we made the penetrator thing and destroyed uh, the obstruction in the cave. And we met up with our friend Reno here. And uh, I think it's pretty much time to go deeper underground. Let's do that. Uh, welcome, B. Definitely some Indian voodoo going on here. Let's go. Ooh. That's an item, isn't it? Okay. Ooh. That's an item. That might not be an item. Fine game, you win. Do you want to open this trap door? Ah, uh, don't you open that trap? Uh, yeah, let's open the trap. What? <laughs> five first aid kits battery charger lightning gun five charms of saving uh what I mean, smoke them if you got them, I guess. Five charms of saving. A lightning gun. So, I mean, they're loading you for bear here. Seriously. Right, let's... Lightning gun. Handgun made by Jeremy Morton, generating a series of electric arcs. Obviously, I need a specific... Device for power supply. Okay. Battery charger. A machine made by Jeremy Morton. It's a charger for the energy weapons power cells. It uses energy crystals. So, what's the deal with that? The energy weapon power cells, so like, if we equip this bad boy, we just saved it, um, how does the battery charger work? They only have like a limited, right, so let's rattle off a few shots of that. And then, oh god, that's not good. Okay, we appear to have bugged the game out. Right, one second, guys. Right, and we're back. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, weapons. Right, not sure how the battery charger works. Like, I, uh... Can we? I oh, can't reload that with it. <clears throat> Alright, well, I mean, let's roll with the lightning gun, I guess. Okay. Come on, Carnby. Ooh. have no idea of the consequences of what you're about to do. Even so, for years now you've been watching me, expecting this moment, just so you could see if your powers of witchcraft were still alive. But it's too late. You should have come begging long ago. You and I know that today is the day. Or the night, actually. You're shaking. Yet, you're like all the others. Fascinated. I realize that only my father was able to fight the madness that courses through all of the Mortons. And that is what killed him. I am the one who killed him. And you want me to give up now? I've spent my entire life waiting for this moment. 
I never cared for your human world. My research has paid off. I have created a new being, a being with no conscience, no feelings, no pain, a being who will know neither doubt nor hope. Soon, my children shall rule the earth. And my brother, that coward, will be one of them. I know what this statue represents, and that is why I am taking it with me. You thought that by destroying my world you'd fulfill your destiny? Don't expect me to let you have that happy end. Get out of my way. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. As for you, strangers, <clears throat> I know not what brought you here. But you too shall soon experience the taste of darkness and oblivion. Light has for too long ruled alone. It is time for darkness to spill out across the world. Munadza Ternas Guru Helie Zair Hecatonkires. At least he remembered the words. Ooh, that looks... That looks bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's just been sucked in. Uh, can't be, buddy. I am begging you, do not give up. If I do not recover the helpless <clears throat> statue, we are all doomed. I will be right. dead. I'll never be able to make it on my own. How do you know Kambi's dead? Not dead? If he were dead, it would mean the gods of light have given up on us. And then we would have no choice but to kneel down and wait for the shadows. Believe me, Kambi is not dead. I know what Alan wishes. He wants to make the seventh statue disappear in the depths of the shadows, thus preventing me from carrying out the ritual. You must stop him before the sun comes up and the shadows spill out. Do you realize what you're asking me? I came here to authenticate a translation and meet Obed Morton, and I end up risking my life every five seconds fighting terrifying creatures. Our fate is written, but we do not know how to read it. Learn to remember your dreams and make your mind up. You know very well that I can't say no. I've come too far already. Beyond the gate, you will have to survive. Remember that the waters of the springs you will find can cure you of all harm. But beware, they are few. Go now. Our world is in your hands. I like the way she's bitching and moaning as if it's his fault. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you don't have a choice, you know, you can sit there and whinge and then just give up and just die anyway, or at least you can, you know, die trying. Uh, so we have Waters of Life. Now, this is interesting. So, there's a gate of darkness that will unleash darkness on the world. Is there somewhere a gate of light that would reverse it? Because... Light has inhabited the planet for too long. So obviously there's a yin and yang thing going on here. You know, it's not just light. Darkness can also inhabit the planet. So if light is winning, there's a gate of darkness. So if darkness was ever on top, would there be a gate of light? I don't know. Probably thinking way too much about it. Um, right. Oh, dude. Dude. Okay, I mean, we've got a lot of medkits. They've literally just thrown five medkits at us. <clears throat> I'm guessing Kambi didn't go down there. Okay. Let's explore. Another rickety ass bridge. You need to be careful of those. Now, we've got a lot of these energy weapons, so... Going to... So how much shotgun ammo do we have? Really not much. 
We've got a lot of grenades though. Ooh. You have no idea how happy I am to hear your voice. No. I had this strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. Then you must be on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Eden Shaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news. I promise you, we're going to make it. <sighs> Don't make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it. Right, we've got crystals here. Crystals actually do anything? Oh, apparently they do. You take a luminescent crystal, your battery... Ch your battery charger is reloaded. Uh, right. We, we didn't really want to take that then, did we? Okay, well, that doesn't do anything. Oh. The crystal comes back. So, our battery charger has, like, unlimited charge? Really? Okay. I can roll with that. You know, we might have to go back there and uh, reload it, but we can do that. <clears throat> Maybe there's going to be other areas of crystals too. God, look at this place. This place is fucking nut. Ooh. Ooh. What comes this way? Music's really kicked up a notch. Ooh. Oh, dude. All right, so even if we're not actually attacking, it still consumes charge. That's worth noting. Come on, you little fuck. Yes. How does it feel to be on the receiving end for once? Oh, God, if we had this to begin with. Wait, are these things just... Yeah, they're just... Oh, right. These things are just respawning in. Uh, so I guess there's no point. Right, so a full reload is like 70%. Okay. So we haven't been that way. We haven't been ahead. So let's go ahead. Yeah, thanks, pal. So, unfortunately, I'm going to go on a limb and say there's no point in fighting the enemies. I don't know how accurate my assumptions are. There's nothing there. Get out of here, dude. I will kill you. And I'll enjoy it, too. Because I'm just that kind of woman, you know? Right, we need to go this way. So they always appear... Ah, you fucking nutsack. And you, come on, come get some. Yeah, they spawn in way too fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. How do we get up there then? Okay. Interesting. So. I mean, I guess this was just one way we could go. So if we go this way, keep going forwards. Is there like another path we can take? Maybe. Right, we might be able to climb up and over that. Yes, we can. Cool. Oh, there's a crystal there. Don't mind if I do. Like, why would you use anything else? Seriously. Battery charge is reloaded. Like, oh, okay. So it doesn't completely recharge it. How long do those crystals take to come back? I don't know. Okay, not long. Not long at all. So we can literally just... 
grab those. Uh, right, don't think. No, okay, so that's not actually another way up. That's really cool. I like that. I like the fact that they've now given us essentially unlimited ammo. Definitely was not expecting that to be a thing. I mean, it's made like every weapon that we've uh, nabbed so far obsolete. Ah, another crystal there. Shame we can't pocket a few of these things. But then I suppose that would be too easy, right? Right. <laughs> oh, baby. Right. Yep, okay. So, it's not like one reload is 30%. It does depend on how much damage and uh, how much you've used a weapon, which is cool. Kind of be a little bit AIDS otherwise. Right, let's have a little look around here. What do we have? Not much that way. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Seriously. Ain't nobody interested in you. Incredible. Yep, Kansas had built a fortress on the edge of the pit. Alright. So, uh... Got any more of them uh, crystals? Oh god. Get off me. Yes, exactly. You got nothing for it. Oh yeah, there we go. Ask and you shall receive, ladies and gentlemen. Now I don't know where this water of life stuff is. But hopefully we will find it. So you get at least 20% with a crystal. Yeah, nice try, buddy boy. Nice try. Melt your flesh off. I like the way we can attack them before they actually jump in as well, which is cool. Feels nice to be winning for one. This ladder should allow me to reach the fortress. Okay. Cool. Oh, not you. Really? Bloody things are gonna spawn in. I'd rather I'd rather explore the entire fortress before leaving. Uh well yeah. Kinda thought that was the plan. Right. I like this thing. It doesn't have to charge. Oh shit. Uh, can we... Oh, God. I was going to say, can we fire the weapon, please? There we go. Alright, not bad. Shit, wrong way. These bastards are going to respawn now, aren't they? Yep. Oh, God. Where the fuck are we now? We? Uh, where the hell are we now? We just like teleported. There we go. Now we're in the fort. Okay. Let's have a little look around here. So, what have we got? We've got a ladder. We've got the ladder. Uh, yeah. Guess. Really wouldn't say no to a crystal. Just saying. Oh. Thank. Let's uh, juice this bad boy up. Now, how are we doing? 100%. Wonderful. I've got to be fair, like, it's cool that we're getting these weapons now. Doesn't here that we can go down here oh there we go um it's cool but it does take the variety out i guess unfortunately it's also interesting that uh 
He managed to harness the power. Indian skin flask of the world of darkness to actually make weapons and fuel his weapons, which is actually quite smart. Okay, so it looks like we need some discs. Oh, ah, oh, that's gonna be like the waters of life. Okay, old skin flask. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they're full hills, so I'm not gonna worry about using those just yet. Ooh. Guess we can't cross here just yet. Looks like a save crystal and something. Alright, well, I'm guessing that's what those discs do. They probably extend some kind of bridge. Why does coffee stay hot for too long? Ah, much better. Right. So, we've got to find some strange disc type things. Okay, I'm guessing they're going to be around here somewhere, unless we have to move further on. So, this tribe... What I'm curious about is... Ooh, there's like a thing here. What I'm curious about is, were they one with the darkness? Were they evil? They can't be evil, because Edenshaw is one of them. Okay. Ooh. Alright, get fucked. Feeling a little shadow manny, to be honest with you. I'm looking forward to playing that game as well. Shadow Man. Yeah, because uh, Shadow Man's actually just been remastered. So, by our friends at Night Dive Studio. Of course, they're famous for redoing the... They've actually uh, remastered quite a few good games. Can we zoom out, please? No? Why can't we zoom out now? Right, we've gone the wrong way. Cool. Yeah, Shadow Man remastered. Oh, God. Any luck, that's coming to more platforms. Now, what's this way? More pooches, which is fine. We can handle those. Give me a good zap with the old lightning gun. Ah, and a crystal too. Good. Because we need to juice this bad boy up. Alright, slap a Duracell in there. Let's get some crystals. What does that take us? Yeah, back up to 100%. There doesn't appear to be much here. Really? You little shit? Get the fuck out of here. Alright, not seeing... ...much here. Surely... ...we should... Ah, fuck off. We should be able to, um... Do something. Yes, right, let's check up here. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Ah. Is it easier to just... No, it actually takes quite a while to drain the battery. Alright, well, I mean, fairly cool animation. Right, really? Didn't quite top us off, that's fine. It is bizarre those crystals respawn the way they do though, it's a really weird mechanic. Oh, dude. Oh. This is some weird voodoo. This is some weird voodoo, guys. Right. 
We know any minute these creatures of the night can jump out at us, but that's fine because we can just, you know, use lightning on their uh, genitalia. Ooh, stone pyramid shaped altar covered in Abkansas inscription. The summit of the pyramid is trun truncated. Yeah, we know where that is. We've seen that. Guessing we need that. Ooh. Mystical secrets. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a lot of stones. Looks like a lot of stones anyway. Okay. You want to slide the plate? Right, probably. We'll be saving this first. Uh, right, let's use a save thing. Because I get a horrible feeling. This will be death if we do this wrong. <laughs> uh, not sure how true that is, but let's roll with it for now. Okay, let's bring ourselves back up to fine. So we have no context what any of these plates actually are. I'm guessing... One of these is correct, <laughs> surely. Uh, I mean, this could potentially be a compass. There is some numbers there, but I don't know what it says. At least it looks like numbers. Do we have to do the... Is it related to the puzzle in the observatory? It actually might be. Right, so we've tried all of them. Is there any, like, inscription on... Ah. Oh, the stone seal. Right. That's... Cool. Melacanth, god of blinding light, took up his golden sword and once more spread terror among the creatures of the night. Sounds like a good guy which took refuge beneath the earth's crust but the gods grew weary of this conflict um him the god of the life bringing light created a race of guardians humankind to watch over the creatures of the night that they may never escape from their dark and prison refuge would then the gods resume their journey to the stars leaving us their life breathing and their magic. Ah, uh, okay. Um, cool. So we have one. So I'm guessing that we just straight up don't have whatever we need to do this yet. Right, so we've got one of the stones. Didn't... We give Optison representing a horse's head. Didn't we give one of those stones to Matey Boy? Gandhi? I was wondering if on your side you The life I lead doesn't leave much time for relationships. But what is it that drives you so? For several hours now we've been fighting powers that are beyond us. We've been pitted against a force that threatens to destroy our world, and yet you ask what drives me? <clears throat> no one's forcing you to do this. You mean to say that I enjoy it? I guess you're right. Ha. Huh. I guess that's relatable. 
Right, okay. I mean, I do also enjoy the hunting of the, uh, the creatures of the darkness. I can relate. Uh, how do I get out of here? Wait, no, seriously, how do I get out of here? So, I'm guessing we can't fiddle with any of those just yet. There's a light way out here somewhere, surely. Uh... Oh shit. So maybe we have to do something. Um object notebook sheet of paper. Uh maybe we have to do that in a certain way? I'm not sure. Right, anyway guys, we're actually out of time. So, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm going to have a fiddle around, see what I can find. Hopefully, you know, good things. And when we come back, hopefully we can get out of here. At least one of the tablets. So, so thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.